Bergner. I am with Citizens Bank um, on the property services side, and we are here today to present the conditional use permit for the branch and the ETM use um, at the um, So we've gone through numerous meetings for this process here, and today we are just here to speak about and the bank's use of this space. This space gives us the opportunity to improve the way we service North End through the space itself and the services we provide within the bank. And it gives us the ability to freshen the space and improve it. So we're here today to present a traditional use permit and open for discussion concerns questions. So this is, I refuse what it is uh, because it goes both by its uh, greenway over the district in terms of, because it's a bank service that's conditionally used. Correct. And the ATM So an issue I have in particular is that neither board, Victor, please correct me if I'm wrong. Neither board approved the actual uh, uh, structure itself. Neither board approved it. Neither board liked it. People showed up two years ago, three years ago at a meeting, and I know this is Charter Realty, not you, mm -hmm. but this is what's causing me a problem to decide whether I even want to vote on this or not tonight. Um, we didn't approve the structure. So, Where's, where's, like, where's Charter Realty? Why aren't they here? You're here because you need relief, right? Zoning relief, is that yeah, it? so we're here for the bank is only yeah. we need a conditional use permit. I personally feel that I can't vote if I don't know what it's going to look like. And I know that both boards denied the structure because it's ugly and nobody likes it. Yeah. <laughs> you're, and you're stuck in the middle of this. So personally, I don't even know if I'm comfortable voting on this tonight. Yeah, I think just I, based on that. Yeah, it's, I mean, generally, I guess that the idea is like we're approving something that we don't even know what it's going to look like, potentially. So charter. Like, absent, I know you have the renderings, but. Yeah. So charter um, confirmed that the building was approved by ISD and the BPPA. So that's all the information I have. I wasn't part of the review process. I wasn't part of the community meetings. Uh, I just had the information that was confirmed to me by uh, our So, so Child of Realty has the permission to start soliciting people to go in that building? Yes, they actually have a building permit. Okay. I think you were against the design, not the structure. No, I mean the design. Yeah. 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 Thank, thank you, Phil. Yeah. Um, yeah I, I, actually, everyone was against the design. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't on the board back then, but a lot of people showed up, and every resident did not like it. And I know that the board told them we're not approving it, as did Victor's board. Uh, so this is a, just a really weird situation for you to, to come here. We don't even know who the other tenants are. We don't know what it's going to look like. Yep. And... I mean, looking at it now, the conditions of the of that child realty is doing nothing to clean it. They've done nothing about the homeless people that are there. There's still garbage everywhere. So, I mean, there are more issues than just you opening up there. Uh, you know, please, please find me from wrong, but it's more, it's more than that. Yeah, so um, just for today, this is a piece of our process to occupy the space. So that's why we're here today to come to you and present our space for our branch. Um, outside of that, I cannot speak that. I will say too, I, I mean, people have contacted, obviously, the most uh, across the market, especially with everything that's been going on, and did note that, you know, the opposition of franchise or, you know, chain, whatever you want to call it, and obviously a bank is one, as, as well as Starbucks, that was proposed. Uh, with the main distinction being certainly with those laws, a lot of times there's really more services that are you know, essential in the neighborhood, which oftentimes I think is considered one. But I just wanted to get that out there because I know people did contact us and, and mention that as well. So um, that's John, just to note though, we did sure. have an abundance meeting for two projects on June 28th in this room. The first one was Citizens Bank, and we did ask, but I did ask for community feedback and opposition questions, comments, and concerns. And that part of the meeting was over in approximately five minutes. 
because nobody seemed to have any concerns about a citizen's bank going into this location. So I know there are concerns with the design of the building that was approved by the Boston Planning and Development Agency. But those designs, the question today is should a bank be allowed to be at this place in this location? So I suggest that like everyone in the room, that's what you're voting on as a board. Should a bank, and in this case Citizens Bank, mm -hmm. be allowed to operate in this location? I know there's issues with the, you know, the building owner at large, and there's issues with the other, you know, prospective tenants in that building. But at the end of the day, that's the question that's here, and that was the question that was at my abundance meeting that we saw no opposition. No, oh, I know. I, I I remember that meeting well. Uh, <laughs> I think it was the track, you know, distracted from the other other uh, elephant in the room at the time. Too. Right, but it was but brought it was up and asked. Yeah. But and and again, I don't think the structure is like the outside or the envelope has anything to do with what you're doing. Um, so it'd be just to approve the conditional use of citizens as a bank. Um, any yes? Uh, actually, can I just? Um, would there be security? Like, would you have security? At so, Monterey with the renovation, we'll be able to update all of our security systems with improved cameras, um, improved alarm systems that go back to our control center. Um, and those cameras will be able to talk to them where they monitor the branch 24 7 and then close. No, like on no, guard. no, like armed guards. Like I know, like TD Bank over at Fannie Hall has guards. Yeah. Um, on all yeah. Of so again, no armored guard, twenty four, so, um, so twenty four seven, nothing like that. We have a really um, updated security system within the branch, and we try to move away from items like bullet bulletproof glass or Kevlar in the teller line because we want people to feel a little more comfortable and open and we'll be able to have secured offices that have alert systems that will notify back to the security, back to um, police all for um, help. The security runs 24-7? Yep, so the camera will run 24-7. The space itself is fully locked out. The uh, vestibule will have a paravit reader, um, which will be separate from the branch as well, and its own structure. Um, with access to it from the branch. But it will have uh, a lot of pair of it reader that you can get in with a credit card, but it won't be open access for example. Right. Okay, compared to this. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyone on the else on the council? What? I, I only brought that up because I just know there's issues with, with homeless, homeless sleeping yeah. inside and yeah. I just want to show sure there's another thing. Yeah, I mean, yep. Yeah. Hi, I, I, just a second, I'm sorry, I'll just hand it before you, so uh, okay. we'll open it up. I'm just going to answer that question. Yeah, no. Okay. He's with the bank. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, sorry. Well, go ahead. <laughs> Hi, Gino Coppola. I'm a regional manager for Citizens Bank. Uh, we do have, this, I have all the branches downtown Boston. We do deal with that a lot. Yeah. And if it does become an issue, we do have um, what we call, um, um, they, we have, uh, police surveillance that actually go branch to branch and check for homeless and make sure that they are cleared out and, and moved along. And in some situations, we actually will lock down the, the ATM vestibule if it does become an issue for, for safety of all customers as well as um, just anyone along the, uh, along the way. So we do take that very seriously. Okay. Thank you. I give us a further members of the board. My name is uh, George Javor. I have an office at 213 Hanover Street. I represent Angie Romano, who owns uh, Romano's Floors, as you know. She's a 7 year resident of the North End and has a vested interest in what goes on, most especially near her, her property, where she lives with her sisters. Uh, I want to shoot the messenger, and um, I think, uh, in all due respects, I think this is just not reporting on a particular tenant. I mean, uh, I've been trying to get information about what's going on in this building, so like pulling teeth from Charter Realty. And, as you can see, already getting off on the wrong foot. They're not going to be a good neighbor. They're hiding the ball. Okay? Now, yeah, it's on, on, the, on the first surface of it, it looks like, yeah, bank is no big deal. But my first question is, are they going to tear the building down? The existing structure? Yeah. Yes. When? You'll have to go to the trial reality for the That's the problem we have. Usually, the owner comes and says, I want to particular use, not a tenant, which is like putting a car before the horse. And incidentally, my client never got notice of the abutters meeting. Um, and she only knew about this meeting because you read it in the uh, regional review. So there's been a lack of, there's been a lack of uh, communication. I know the board takes that seriously. 
But in any event, that's not one. Number two, the mezzanine, I, I think this came up when we were at the uh, meeting with Mr. Bronya. If they put something on the second floor, it triggers a variance. So they're calling it a mezzanine instead of a second floor. So it's a tricky way of increasing the uh, use of the building. And I've got to emphasize, a bank there would not be a terribly onerous use of the property as for a restaurant or anything along those lines. Because a bank, you know, bank is out. We all know they close on weekends and they close at a certain hour, so you can't go wrong. And I know there's a lot of banks that are not then, and I guess Citizen thinks there's room for another one, but be it as it may, I just think that you've got to look at this thing as a package, not just as Citizen Bank coming here. And in all due respect, I'm not trying to shoot the messenger, but unfortunately they sent you the wolves, is what they did. And they said, you come here and try to get a approval for support for a conditional permit for a bank, um, which uh, if the building's coming down and they're going to call it a mezzanine and not a second floor to get around the zoning issues. And what they're going to do is they're going to build up beyond the existing height, which is going to block windows of people that can't see uh, outside their windows. So I think you ought to really give this a second thought. And also, I, I think the sentiment ought to be that they ought to vote this down uh, with the proviso that we need more information. Because I think this is a, a, a very, in all due respects, not necessarily a sneaky way of coming here before you and trying to avoid the big pictures. What are they going to do with the rest of the property? She can't answer that question. And that's what I think we ought to know. I mean, uh, you know, again, to come back to what I said, my client's been here for seven years. If you care about community input, you can't get a better person than uh, Angie, who everybody knows, who cares about the map. And, and uh, she lives here. I guess if, you know, you don't live If you don't live here, you know, I guess, as I, I assume some of these people, and I'm trying to be derogatory, I'm just saying that you ought to, and you do, pay attention to the people that live here and want to really improve the quality of life in this neighborhood. Thank you. Thank you. Can I um, say a few clarifying points? Um, so our branch will be relocating from the spot. So we're not adding an additional bank here. We're relocating our existing branch, opening that storefront up from another house, another business, or again, that's the existing property on this decision. Um, and I'm here today to represent the bank because at the end of the day, Charter Realty owns the building, but we're going to operate there. And we have been part of the North End for a while, for a very long time, and we've been servicing a lot of the businesses and people of the North End. So that's why I'm here today for the bank, because this is one of my locations. I've been involved in this whole process for the bank, and I'm here to speak with you guys about the use of a bank branch. I can't answer a question about the building. I don't work for Charter Realty. I work for the bank. And I work for citizens. And I'm here to help answer any questions towards the branch itself. So you say you're going to manage the building, you're going to manage the entire building for the Charter Realty? No, I don't, we don't manage the building. We manage our space. So we lose our space. space. Just you our space. You're going to manage the building. Yeah, no, we're just our space. Are you going to take over the whole building? Nope, just our space. How, how, much, how much of the building? I mean, if you look at it, is it half the footprint or three quarters? It's probably about one third. One third. And you, you can't tell us what's going to happen to the rest I of it. I can't. But I'm, I'm not here. I'm here for the use of the building for us. I understand the concerns, and I can't answer those I guess the concern would also be the fact that you're adding the actual bank as opposed to just the ATM teller machine, which is small, it doesn't take as much space on the front panel tree right now, causes less of an issue with people talking about that. So the fact that it's moving it from a small little alleyway, one of the room, it's literally just room mm -hmm. right now. And you're making it a <coughs> store for now, thinking it's going to draw the different country. The existing branch is um, actually larger than the branch we're moving into. Um, a new location. I understand it's a larger frontage, larger storefront, um, but we are using, right now we have a mix of back of house space and branch space on the first floor of the branch. And moving to this location, the entire first floor will be completely open to the public and you know, open to the public and our services for our colleagues. Uh, I don't need to monopolize. Are you putting an elevator in the building? We are not. It's part of the charter. Charter real estate. Is this a space you're going to be using? Uh, Correct. Okay. Thank you. 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 Th
Thank you. So the other lady will be in your space. It's for all the difference. And, and there's a mezzanine, right? Correct. Right. You get out there for a mezzanine versus another story. Correct. Right. How? How? Uh, never mind. I, I, I get it. Thank you. Does anyone else in the audience have any comments there? No. Okay. Yeah, I think I, I, mean, we, I think we discussed it enough. enough. Um, do you want to vote, or do you want to see? You want to vote it? I mean, if we if we vote if we vote on this, are we also saying that we're okay with the design of the building that we opposed two years ago? This is this is for the them being tenants of the space. I think that both of the the council and the residents association throughout the years have have expressed our uh, disdain for the property. I think it was rented, the, the, the design was changed only once in very small detail, and it had to do with the facade. Uh, the mezzanine was addressed in terms of the second floor and things like that, but I think we've had much uh, opposition to the design itself. So this would strictly be uh, you know, a bank over there. So to your point, George, I mean, you know, that's yeah, right. like we we said so we we are not in favor of of the proposal. That's on record throughout the year. So this, you know, that with of course, because of the concerns of the residences, the residents not only there but you know in the community general. Um, but this is like a little bit different than that in terms yeah. of. No, I understand, but John, to, to Damien's point, if they don't get a tenant, they may not, you know, they, they may not, they may may not. I doubt it very much pursue with their plans, but. Um, do you have a board day, by the way, already? No. You don't have a board day yet? No, not until okay. um, yeah, It could be like a modest opposition. Like I said, um, in theory, theoretically, a bank is not a bad use, but um, they're tearing down, they got a permit to tear down the building, and they're going to go higher than expected. With that facade, that doesn't fit in, in New York City. I mean, maybe it's good in New York City, but not in our thing, and I think that's abominable, and that's going to destroy it. Okay. People have lived their whole life trying to build this, this community. So I, I think, I think without knowing the whole plan um, and, and just piecemeal, is uh, is irresponsible for at least for my client even to consider. It. But if I knew the whole plan and how they're going to get away with calling the mezzanine not a second floor, which would avoid board of appeal variance, which could create a lot of problems, I think. Yeah. Well, that was one of the points we discussed at the meeting, which is it's technically. A one floor building, you know, according to their plans. Yeah, which, I mean, but, but it's going to it's going to go up another. It's going to block. It's going to block more. I'm not saying I'm. I don't that think they, you're I agree quiet, with that but, viewpoint. Yeah. yeah. No, I just I just think that honesty goes a long way. If you if you don't pull your punches, I mean, you get along get along a lot further. But I'm not blaming her because it's not her project. It's the the child of realty who just says, "See you later. We're going to do what we're going to do. We got a permit and." and uh, and uh, I eventually guess they wouldn't have that attitude. They had to come before you for something. But then again, they don't care. They don't care. They, they put a lot of money in the building. They're going to maximize the profit whatever way they can. Thank you, Ken. Yes, the president. I leave the bosses, but you're voting on the right thing, the ten. In the future, if you see that address and something wants to go in, you should tell those people we will meet with you, but you have to take a representative from child. A Charter Street or where it was Charter, Charter Real Street. Street. Yeah. You might want to make that. That's their, you know, they, they have the decision to come either way. I think they, they probably chose well, not to for whatever reason. confusing the thing. You're all right with what you're saying, but she's right with what she said. And the prime suspect here is Charter Realty who should come and be able to answer some questions. Um, just to clarify, Charter did not make it tonight, but they will be here for um, Wednesday's meeting. What's the meeting during the presence of the third? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much.